Hey Gemini and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your October 2018 channel messages. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Not all messages are going to resonate with you so take what does, leave what don't and check out your other signs. So um, Gemini, let's talk. I This reading is going to be all over the place. I'm going to tell you that right now. So um, because I'm pulling in so many energies, your guys' energy was so strong. Uh, you were my third sign to do, um, originally and your, uh, energies were so intense that I had to do it a complete separate day from the first four that I did. So, um, just so much intensity and, um, it goes from one end of the spectrum to the other. So, um, these messages will not resonate every single one with you um, because they are all over the place. So I'm just warning you that um, very big messages, very important messages, um, life changing messages uh, for some of you. So I do encourage you to uh, watch through the whole thing. Just uh, if it doesn't fit, don't make it fit because it's not going to with everybody. So uh, when I was meditating on your guys' sign and situations, I kept seeing the number six, the need for balance. Um, right now, you need to concentrate your energies. You need to focus your vibrations more towards self-love, unconditional love, um, and just the love for others. Yeah. So you can... So you can, um, what's the word I'm looking for? So you can, uh, achieve, oh my goodness. I don't know why I couldn't <laughs> think of that word. So you guys can ch achieve your life's divine purpose. Uh, you need to find some balance, um, because you guys have been through some pretty horrific things lately. Um, some pretty painful relationships, um, ending, still cycling through, um, some big changes in jobs. Uh, I see lots of fighting with family or family being cut off from Gemini. Um, a lot of tense energy. So for those of you dealing with that, especially, um, it's, it's time to find balance, go within, focus on yourself, focus on self-love, unconditional love, um, forgiveness of yourself, um, if that is needed, but there's just, yeah, there's just a need to find balance. Some of you have found balance um, after walking away from somebody that was throwing you in this constant tilt-a-whirl. Um, and you guys are on the right path if that if that is what you were walking away from. Um, for some of you, you're looking outward for answers. And the divine is trying to show you that, that your answers are in here. They're, your answers are within. You just have to trust yourself. Um, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt, um, your intuition, uh, that little voice in your head. Um, yeah, don't doubt that. That is your inner spirit trying to talk to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops. My voice there all of a sudden. Some of you most definitely your throat chakra is closing. Um, the need to speak the truth. Um, speak your truth, tell somebody how you truly feel, tell somebody how they truly hurt you. Um, and a lot of you aren't getting that opportunity because somebody ghosted you, somebody cut you off communication wise. And you just feel like you just feel like it, you're left hanging there in limbo. Um, you can't have closure and you can't move forward because you were just blindsided by the absence of this person. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of pain that some of you are going through. And it's in our darkest moments that, um, that you need to search the hardest for light. Uh, yeah. Um,
for some of you, there's a need to, um, there's a need to focus on something within your family, something within your domestic life, um, your home, your, your children, your brothers and sisters, your parents. Um, there's something going on here that needs focus. If, if it's not taken care of, um, I see like family cutting each other off, not talking to each other. This could be between siblings or something to do with the parents. Yeah, I see some of you already have cut somebody off from your family or, or they you. Um, you. You guys are needing to both uh, needing to both see each other's um, side of things. It'll take time. I do see uh, these family members um, coming to terms and um, yeah, I do see you guys coming back together, but there's just a thickness of uneasy feelings. It is going to take time, though. It's going to take some a considerable amount of time before um, you guys will start speaking again or be able to move on past whatever the situation is. Um, some of you are seeing like. 888 or 222. Um, these are your angels that are trying to connect with you. Uh, notice what you're doing when you see these numbers. Um, it, it'll have something to do with like what you're thinking about at the moment or, you know, because you might be driving down the road in your car and look at the bank clock and it says 222. Think to yourself, uh, think back, what were you thinking about at that moment? Where were you headed at that moment? Who was in your car at that moment? And it's going to um, be able to tie that together for you. Um, some of you, you guys feel stuck. You're stuck in a situation. You don't know what way to turn. Yeah. You don't know which way to turn because either way you turn, it hurts. There's pain. There's broken hearts. Um, so you're just kind of staying stagnant, stuck, uh, letting your thoughts control um, the outcome of everything, talking yourself out of things. Um, it's time to do what's right for you. It's time to um, do what's best for you. Broken hearts, um, they heal. It takes time and it's hard, but you deserve happiness. You deserve what is meant for you. Um, yeah, some of you are making a choice to walk away from a partner. Um, you're going to receive some sort of clarity. You're going to receive some kind of information, um, whether it be from this realm or the spiritual realm, something is going to be that aha moment and it's going to give you the determination, the drive, the courage to walk the fuck out of there. Because this relationship is toxic. Uh, this person has a toxic hold on you. Some of them could be using like magic. Um, but it feels like if I, it feels like this person has a spouse that you do not know about. Now, don't panic and everybody out there that's having problems think that they are married, but this is a third party situation for one. And this could have been going on for a couple of years and you have no idea about this other person. Um, could be a Cancer, an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Sagittarius. Those are the four I'm seeing. But uh, they very well possibly could have a spouse and children. Um, I see you finding the courage to uh, to walk away from this. Um, yeah, you're going to receive some, some sort of information. Somebody is going to come towards you. It could be a stranger that you don't know. You could get a phone call, email, like a social media message um, that's going to alert you. 
um, you already have a sneaky suspicion that there is somebody else or you're seeing like a picture in their phone or um, there's some kind of evidence right in front of you that you're looking at uh, and you are getting the courage to walk away. Now, some of you, this has already happened in the last month to two months um, and you're now in that healing process. Uh, the You've been put through hell with this situation um, with the thoughts, the, the, um, manipulation. Yeah, this, this toxicity really has a hold on you. It's, it has, a, it's tied to you. Um, I encourage you to do a, uh, karmic, uh, cord, uh, cutting. It's a meditation. Uh, yeah, because this one, this person is, um, got a tie to you, a bond to you. Um, For some of you, you guys are receiving a crucial message from spirit. Um, your guys' uh, third eye is opening, if not opened already this month, uh, because it's I think it's the seventh of the month. So you guys are already experiencing these uh, symptoms of your third eye opening. You guys are going to receive a crucial message around the 10th to the 13th from spirit, your mind's eye is going to show you something. It's a crucial message for you. That's going to affect the rest of your life. Um, this isn't a positive way, so don't be freaking out just yet. Um, this is very positive. Actually, uh, you guys are awakening through your energy field daily. Like it's becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. And you're going to see this uh, message. It's going to be different for all of you, but it, it will change your life for the positive. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Um, for those of you who are single, you guys are having an unusual feeling. Uh, you're concentrating a lot on work, not really wanting to deal in the love area. Um, you're still reeling over the last relationship that ended, but you guys are going to be drawn towards, um, somebody new, somebody that, uh, usually isn't your type, but after you meet this person, you're not going to be able to keep your mind off of them. You're not going to be able to just, even though you're telling yourself you don't want love, even though, whoa, did you guys just see that? <laughs> um, even though you guys are uh, telling yourself you don't want love, you can't help but continuously think about this person. Um, you're going to eventually let your wall down. I don't see uh, you actually becoming into a commitment with this person until November, but they're not going to give up. And they are absolutely positively amazing for you. So don't put that wall up so high that nobody can break through it. Uh, you guys deserve this relationship coming towards you for this group of you. Um, for some of you, someone from your past is coming back. Um, this is somebody that you had a brief relationship with, but this relationship was super intense. Um, you guys could have met on a social media platform. Um, yeah, it, you could have gotten to know each other really well through social media messages back and forth. Um, when you did finally meet this person in person, the sexual energy was just magnetic. And then it like stopped. Um, this is because they are in a relationship with somebody else. Uh, and now you have them questioning everything. They, didn't have a problem in their relationship. They were happy. They were um, not looking for this intense connection, but here we are. So um, they are in the works of dealing with these emotions, these feelings, um, trying to process what they should do. Where do they go from here? Do they end this to try this? They think about you every day. This person is coming back to let you know that they want to give it a try with you. They want to try 
um, this relationship, but out of respect for their partner, they would like for you to wait until they end things with um, them, which is such a breath of fresh air for those of you who have been in a third party situation, me included, um, back, you know, in our lifetimes. This shows how much this person um, cares about other people's feelings. Uh, yeah, but they're going to come and just spill their heart out. The intent, the intensity of the connection threw them into an awakening, threw them into uh, a soulmate state of mind. Like they know there's a reason now why they friended you on Facebook on accident. They know why you guys started talking and just hit it off. Great. They know why when you guys finally met the magnetic connection was there, they're, they're awakening very fast. Um, but they are going to end things with the person they're with, um, first, but they're going to ask for you to wait for them. I see that happening around the, the 13th through the 22nd. Um, you're going to hear from this person. Some of you um, have left somebody in your past. You walked away from them and you are finding a whole new sense of inspiration. You're seeing inspiration in everything. Um, you feel you're guided to take a certain path. Um, sorry, I'm seeing I seen an orb. Um, you're inspired to walk a certain path and it's not a way that you would necessarily have taken in the past. So you're kind of um, anxious about it. You're kind of nervous about it, but you're so excited and inspired at the same time. This is the divine speaking through you and, um, and moving you right along. You're going right where you're supposed to be. Um, for some of you, October 11th is 11th and 12th is going to be a huge day for you. Um, you guys are going to feel refreshed, rejuvenated, um, ready to take on the day. Your energy is looking great. You're just vibing on a beautiful level. And, um, there's something, there's a situation that's going to happen that day where everything is going to change. Everything that you thought it was, it's even better. Like it's, this is a change in a awesome way. Um, you're gaining wisdom, you're gaining insight, you're gaining a vision for the future. Um, you're gaining allies. You're just, everything on this day is just going to fall into place and, um, and move you somewhere better. For some of you, uh, it's time to release your fear and doubt, um, of your future. What is meant for you will come back for you. What's meant for you will never, um, you will never miss what is meant for you. Uh, some of you, some of you are getting out of a negative situation and you are bouncing back with force. You, um, realized what it was and you realized I love myself, my heart, my soul more than this. I deserve better than this. And you move forward. And now you are just, you are a force to be reckoned with. Um, yeah, you are no longer settling for someone else's dreams. You're now taking your dreams and making them a reality. Um, which is, which is amazing because you're finding harmony within yourself. You're, uh, Some of you are dealing with really bad headaches. Um, these are headaches that are like right behind your eyes. These are your energies trying to, or the, your body trying to take on these new energies. Um, these are your downloads, your awakening. Um, it's just your body trying to adapt. They're going to pass. Uh, but right now they're really, really intense. Your migraines. <clears throat> yeah, you're really worried that it's something like uh, seriously medically uh, wrong, even though you went to the doctor and they said, you know, there's nothing wrong. They're just headaches. Uh, these are your ascension sy symptoms. Uh, 
For some of you, you have like a secret admirer. There's somebody that's a couple steps behind you that is trying to get up the courage, trying to get up the guts to come forward and express their feelings for you. They are just admiring your eyes. You, your guys' connection when you two look at each other um, is just magnetic. And they're trying to get up the courage to come forward and ask you uh, to go to the next level. This is a friend of yours. You guys know each other. You've known each other for years. Um, and they're not quite sure if you would be down to go to that next level or get out of that friend zone. But they're coming to you in October and letting you know how they truly feel about you. Um, this is going to turn into an amazing life partnership. Um, this is going to be somebody that you will be with forever and treat you like you deserve to be treated. Um, for some of you, you guys are really dealing with some deep wounds. Yeah, you're releasing a lot of hurt, a lot of betrayal, especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Sag, Aries. Yeah, there's a lot of deep wounds here. Uh, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of betrayal. Um, you feel... you really feel like there was an injustice done to you and you're waiting for that person to come back and apologize and uh, tell you that they know it was unfair, tell you that you, you didn't deserve it. And, um, and they're just not coming forward. It's time to release that pain and begin the healing process. And I do see you guys doing that this month. Um, and when you release that pain, that, that anger, you will be able to reconnect with somebody um, of your past or connect with somebody new. No matter what, there's love coming in for you guys um, once you heal and allow those wounds to close. Um, by the end of the year, uh, a lot of people will be returning back to your life. Uh, for some of you guys in the month of October, a reunion of a lifetime is here. Uh, there are twin flames returning back to you guys. If you feel you're on the twin flame journey, um, there are twin flames that are, uh, that are coming back that have put in the work that have never forgot about you, never left their focus from getting back to you. Um, they're back. <laughs> this is a powerful energy, super powerful. And then when you put both of your energies together, life-changing. Um, you guys are going to change the world for the better. You guys are going to change yourselves. You know, you, this person makes you feel 10 foot tall. You know, they, you, they just, if you're in this connection, you get me, you know what I'm talking about because it's so intense, so powerful that I can't even really put it into words. But um, the two of you together are going to be a hell of a team and your soul's purpose is going to change the world in one form or another. Uh, and this isn't just small time. This isn't the world of 5,000 people. Literally, you guys will be known around the world. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Like, I can't stop smiling. Um. For some of you, for some of you who are in the twin flame journey, but you're separated, your partner is starting to uh, acknowledge their feelings. They're starting to realize that no matter what they do, no matter how hard they try, they cannot forget the connection between the two of you. They cannot forget the way you make them feel. They cannot forget the way you know, your touch feels, you, the way you smell, the way, you know, everything. Um, and no matter how hard they tried, no matter if they left and went to another person uh, or whether they left and were single, they were doing whatever they could do to get you out of their head because the intense connection was so 
mind blowing that it freaked them out. They are getting to the point where they are acknowledging their feelings. They are acknowledging that this is something different. This is something special. They are awakening to the twin flame connection. And now their, uh, their process is going to start moving forward. It's going to be much faster than what it has in the past. Um, now that they're being awakened. Some of you are going through a really negative situation. This is a like a dark night of the soul situation. Very well possibly for the last three, four years um, up till today. Some of you I'm seeing for the last seven years have been in this dark night of the soul. You're coming out of it. Uh, your third eye is opening. You're ascending to a much higher spiritual level. Um, yeah. You are being guided. Let go of the outcome. You know, the the divine is going to lead you to amazing places. Um, we just have to let go of the control. Let go of um, what we think the outcome needs to be. And when you come out of this dark night of the soul, you're going to skyrocket into a, a whole different life. Um, Gemini, for the month of October, this month is so spiritual for you guys. Everybody, every Gemini um, especially if it's your uh, moon or rising, um, that your third eye is just going to pop. Um, but Sun and Venus as well, you your guys are having epiphanies. You guys are having aha moments. You guys are being awakened. You're hearing uh, your spirit guides. You're seeing your spirit guides. And it's going to bring you to a balanced place. It's going to bring you to happiness, to joy, and not needing anyone else to provide that internal joy. It's just, you're going to radiate after you get through this dark night of the soul. Um, yeah. For some of you, towards the end of the month, I see you guys are going to come into some weird energy. You feel like it's almost dreamlike. You're like, am I even, am I awake? Like, this is freaking weird. Very odd feeling. Um, around probably the 20... I'm sorry, my hair is driving me freaking nuts. Um, probably around the... I say the 27th to the 30th. Um, yeah, you're just feeling like you're walking through a dream state. You're walking like you feel bizarre. You feel really odd. Um, yeah, this is... I'm sorry. I'm just trying to hear what my guides are saying. Yeah, you guys are going to receive a very intense download. Um, you're going to feel very odd. You're going it, to, but it's going to be very deeply spiritual. Um, this is awakening you to the next level. This is bringing you, it's dreamlike because you're astro traveling so much towards the end of the month that when you wake up, you're not sure, like, you're not sure which dimension you're in. I know that sounds crazy, um, and insane, but it's true. Um, this is a very deep spiritual awakening that is coming for you guys at the end of October 31st is going to be amazing for you guys. Um, that the spiritual realm and the 3d, it's going to be at, it's going to be so close. The veil between the two is going to be so thin that things are going to be coming toward information. Just, you know, uh, your spirit guides, you're going to be seeing, hearing, feeling things that has never happened. It's not going to bring any fear. It's nothing to be worried about. It's going to be amazing. Like the weirdest, warmest feeling that you've ever had. It's like, you're going to be able to literally almost 
reach out and touch your angels. And it's just going to instantly like cloak you in warmth and loving white light and welcome to your new journey of being able to communicate with the spiritual realm. For a lot of you, this will be in the form of a deceased loved one that is going to come for um, you guys. And uh, so you're not afraid, but um, a lot of you guys are going to be opening your third eye a lot. So um, if that's something that you want, send it up to the divine, let them know that, that you want to be able to do this. You want to be able to see your spiritual realm. You want to be able to contact your guides and and you know communicate with them and the divine um if it is your time to awaken will bring that to you if this is something you don't want you don't want to see your guides you don't want to hear voices you don't want make that known as well that you know you want to continue on your spiritual journey but you prefer not to hear see or feel any spiritual realm so because i do have clients that they would rather you know someone else tell them than to communicate with the uh, 5D, which is totally understandable. So um, make sure you are either open or let the divine know that that you're not ready for that, maybe down the road. Um, for some of you guys, you are allowing healing to take place after leaving somebody who, quite frankly, was not very nice. They were kind of a jerk. Um, he or she was selfish. They were reckless. They didn't think things through. And they did things that broke your heart without batting an eye. You guys are starting to heal from this. Um, you're starting to, to come to realize that it wasn't you. It wasn't, you were not the reason they acted like this, even though they um, always had an excuse that, that allowed you to take the blame for their actions. Um, you're, you're realizing that it wasn't you at all. That's just the toxic person that they were. Um, for some of you, you're feeling stuck in anxiety and fear. You're losing sleep at night. Um, ask your angels to take that away. Ask your angels to um, allow you to see the day with open eyes and remove all fear and anxiety from your life and just pray to them every time you feel that anxiety coming on. Um, some of you have somebody coming in. This is a fated event for you. This is, uh, this is destiny. Um, this is a soulmate. They're going to come into your life when you least expect it. And it's really going to take you by surprise. You're going to almost question if they're too good to be true, but it's true. It's yeah, this is most definitely a faded event where you will meet this person. Um, for some of you, you guys are reaching a level of commitment with somebody um, from your past who is returning. Some of these uh, people returning are twin flames, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio or a, uh, Cancer, very heavy energy here right now. Also, um, Leo. Libra. Taurus. Virgos. And Capricorns, all Earth signs. Yeah, most definitely. Um, some of these are life partners that are coming in for you. Um, you're going to know this person is for you. You're going to know that this is the person you're meeting um, because you're going to start like within 10 minutes of each other. You guys are finishing each other's sentences um, or he, they say something and you're thinking, whoa, I was just going to say that or, you know, something along those synchronicities. Your angels are going to put that in your conversation of either originally meeting this person. Um, if you have not met them yet, if it's somebody coming back, you're going to be, your ideas and thoughts are going to be, um, back and forth with each other. So that is very exciting for you guys. 
some of you, uh, some of you are dealing with a very, very immature fire sign. Uh, they're refusing to compromise on issues because their pride, their ego is in the way. Uh, when you choose to take a break from this person, they're going to very quickly realize they need to grow the fuck up. They will be returning to you as well, but you need to take a stand for yourself, um, which I see a lot of you already have. Uh, but when they realize that you are not going to settle for less or stand for disrespect, they're going to um, shape up a little bit. They're just a very immature, uh, like emotionally immature person. Um, yeah, for some of you, you are with a person like I'm seeing 10 plus years. This relationship was very back and forth, very emotionally draining on you. Um, this person seems to be very dependent on you emotionally, like a codependency, but yet they wanted their freedom. They wanted to run around, do whatever they wanted, but at the end of the day, uh, they needed you to emotionally support them. They needed you uh, to allow them to be codependent on you. I see you walking away from this person, um, especially if they're a Pisces or a Cancer again. Um, yeah, because this person isn't very trustworthy. They want to do whatever they want, but come back around when they need something. Um, it's best because I see that you've already walked away from this person. It's best that you keep walking because... They're, uh, they're not offering anything to the relationship. So there's a very unequal balance. Some of you are in separation from a twin flame. Um, yeah. Um, and you get, you know that they're your twin flame, but, uh, it looks like you guys are both needing to heal. You both need to find balance. Um, which I do see you, Gemini as the one that um, has recognized the connection, the twin flame connection, they are still married to somebody else um, and are needing to get a divorce, but that's going to come in time. Uh, right now, just focus on healing you and you have already figured out the connection. So you have started the process of healing. Keep going. You're doing great. For some of you, you're losing patience with a fire sign. Fire is very prominent today. Um, for some of you, you're feeling really betrayed by this person, um, Sagittarius, especially, or Aries, you feel, uh, feel used. Um, they, you're finding out they had a third party. They possibly could be having a child with this person or has a child with this person, but you're finding out about this third party and you just feel like you just wasted all your time. You feel betrayed. You feel used. You feel hurt. And they could they could be limiting communication with you as well. Um, this is a twin flame situation, believe it or not. Um, you are in one of the first stages of the journey. So um, focus on yourself. Um, continue to work hard at you know, healing and mending this broken heart because big things are coming in for you within the next six to eight months. Um, you're going to see huge changes in this, uh, person and your situation. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who's making promises and they have no intention of keeping them. They're just pretty much, uh, telling you what you want to hear. Um, Especially if they're an air sign, a Gemini, another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to speak your truth to this person. For some of you, um, you put yourself out there to somebody and now they're not communicating with you. They're not answering your, you back, texting you. This is also a twin flame relationship. They are scared by the um, intensity of what they feel for you in such a short amount of time. Um, and then when you expressed your feelings, it was like, whoa, even realer. So they're in the uh, runner phase of this uh, journey. Um, once again, you as well, just focus on yourself. Don't chase. They'll just run faster. Um, yeah. 
For some of you, you guys are afraid you're not enough. Um, that's so far from the truth. You're more than enough and the right person out there will, um, believe that as well. Uh, you got to let go of this illusion of lack, uh, accept things as they are. They're perfect. They're, you're abundant. They're meaningful. They're divine, uh, because you guys have amazing things coming in for you for, uh, for some of you, you just lost your job. You're going to be getting a new job uh, about the end of November, beginning of December. Um, this is going to be in like, uh, oh, what do you call that? Like you sell real estate. You're going to be working in a real estate for in some way, shape, or form. Um, or like investing. You could be investing in properties too. It's something um, to do with properties, whether that be a real estate agent to investing in those properties to however it fits. But it's it's in the area of buying and selling land, houses, what have you. You're going to find a lot of success in this and commission will uh, be through the roof. So keep, keep getting yourself out there. Um, it's coming for you. For some of you... Uh, you guys have, um, yeah, for some of you, you guys are having dreams, um, really vivid dreams. These dreams that you are having, like literally at night having, they are going to start to happen. These are your premonitions. These are your, this is your angels. You're going to be dreaming what is going to happen. Uh, so keep a dream journal and start and you'll see how it's going to start um, coming to fruition, what you have dreamt a week ago. Really cool. Uh, for some of you, you're going to have a big challenge this month. Um, but I do see you succeeding. I do see you overcoming that challenge. And when you overcome that challenge, the reward is mind-blowing. So don't give up. It's not, I don't see it being like a devastating challenge. I see it being um, a challenge to make you better, stronger, wiser. And when you overcome this challenge, then great things are coming in for you. You guys are just in kind of a rough time right now. But please believe me when I tell you it's going to be so much better. It's only going to get better. Um, October is a huge, huge spiritual month for you guys. Um, I'm trying to hurry up now cause I'm like 15 minutes over, but, uh, I see a lot of heartache, a lot of stress, a lot of mental anxiety, a lot of questions without answers. Um, but the cool thing is, is the universe is stepping in now. They are here to give you their angelic aid. They're coming ask for their help. They won't help you without you asking. When you ask for their help, then they will start intervening. But this month is going to be huge, life-changing, life-altering as far as your spirituality goes. Um, people mass awakening up. People's third eyes going from completely closed to wide open. Um, hearing, see seeing, feeling your angels it's just Gemini as a whole is just going to uh, really, really propel into um, a higher level of consciousness this month. Uh, also, a lot of you have faded relationships coming in, destiny, people coming into your life for a reason and, um, and staying, being there to help you heal, help you mend, help you get through this shitty um, time period you guys are in. Uh, so many of you have twin flames too. It's just amazing. Um, Gemini to me is one of the largest signs that is a part of the 144,000 couples, twin flame couples. Um, you guys make up a lot of them. Yeah. Especially if you're dealing with like Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorns. I mean, those are the main six I'm seeing. And if you're in separation, they're running, they're not talking to you. Um, 
they just up and left. No questions, no answers, no nothing. Really start uh, looking for synchronicities. The universe is going to show you signs that, yes, this is your twin flame. Yes, it's time for you to heal. Once you're done healing, look at what you get. And a lot of you are already past that phase. You've already healed, and now you're waiting for your twins to come in. A lot of them are coming in end of October, beginning of November, um, and even more by the end of the year. So don't give up faith or don't give up hope. Keep the faith and keep walking that journey to a more spiritual you. God bless.